guys welcome to today's tutorial thank you for clicking if you're new here thank you for clicking if you're a returning subscriber thank you for viewing us today and if you are one of our viewers and yet to subscribe thank you also for viewing us we really appreciate you and so therefore i would also encourage you guys to please subscribe my name is sarah i'm uh, the ceo of first imaginary we do hats and fascinators also we make videos on how to make hats and fascinators so do want to check all the videos we have on our channel because you have a very good time with us we have taught a lot of um, styles here and there are tips you also want to take home with you so today subscribe to our channel and also have access to all our videos if you want to remember to also like and share our videos so that every other person will also any other person that is interested in heart making will also have to reach get these videos at their fingertips thank you guys for trying to reach out thank you for clicking thank you for clicking thank you for viewing all right straight to what we have today we're actually going to be con we're actually going to continue what we have we have started in the two previous videos we had dropped on this channel so here today we are going to continue how these um i mean modes and types of hard blocks you understand so basically most times in nigeria we call it modes and um alternatively you can also call it hard blocks hat 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 h-a-t hat block so now we have dealt with the aspect of brim and crown and i've also showed you how shown you how different size two different sizes of Half brim. We have all three, of course, the turn up, the half brim, the wider brim. You understand? So, and also, I've tried as much as possible to also show you the crowns. I have different sizes of head crown. Of course, you also have different shapes of head crown, and of course, you also have some head crown that comes like a kind of a full head uh, mode. Then from there, you can cut different shapes from it, like the one I did. For this particular one so guys if you haven't watched the video please do want to subscribe and also have access to these videos go to our channel you will see with the title actually the same just feel the friend just slight difference on the titles but you will see part one part two part three so do well to view all those videos i'm actually talking about all right guys so let's move to what we came here to do now so today we're actually going to be dealing on um would I call it hatinator modes or would I say a brim shape of mode or extended hat mode? So from what it is, we'll just cook up a name for it. If it already has a name, please do share the name at the comment section. But for me, I like giving something names. <laughs> I enjoy giving these names. So I'll be giving them the name I know they are and the ones I don't know they are, I'll just dash them name. It's good to give name. You don't even know where the name is going to go. Like the one I did one time, I gave it name, and people started calling me that one. So, guys, keep watching. I am here, and enjoy the rest. Okay, of welcome back. Um, that I was showing you this uh, particular hat, um, hat block. You can see the shape. So by the time you mold the shape, it actually gives you a uh, head allowance where your head will enter into this space, more like. You already know what I'm trying to say. So this is a hatinator shape. When you wear it, it stays this way. Most often, some people try to use in 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 um, an alternative use of this particular shape of mode is um, uh, a flat plate. Yeah, a plate with a bit of that has a bit dent inside, or that has a little dent inside would give you something relating to this. You understand? So this comes in different shapes i also have the one that is not um so curvy extended like this like it's from the top it just gives you that curve down so i'm going to be showing you what it looks like see this it's quite high you can see the difference and uh, it's not like it went like it's, it didn't show the crown different from the brain like it didn't show the effect so here this one is more like a curve down and same thing when you wear it it goes in and you enjoy the look so we have different shapes here of course and i have something of this nature it's quite curvy at the extended part of it and you can see what it looks like by the time you wear it it sits this way and there are some plate shapes plate shapes that comes this way you can also use that um if you don't have this size of mode 
Hope you understand. So this are, this looks like all these Chinese hats. This one looks like all the chi this type of Chinese hat that they wear, but this is quite smaller than what they wear on the head. So if you are interested in making things like that, this is the shape you should form. So I've actually made a hat of this nature before, but of course I, I wouldn't do it in a Chinese way. But the shape was this way. You understand? This is the shape. You can see how it has a pointed uh, tip here. So these are. I'm trying to bring out more. So this this is another. I've used this on this channel. So and um, the pink film. I don't really want it to work, but I, as it stands now, I don't have a choice but to remove it. So you can see how this looks. Of course, very beautiful. So that's that. Um, you can get the bigger one. You can see how big this is. It's almost like this. Same as this, but this is quite big. Quite big. A lot big. So let me see if I can actually dress back and I'll show you how big it is. So this is the kind of mold that you can use to make those wide uh hatinator. Hope you can hear me. Mm -hmm. So this are the kind of molds you can use for those white hats in Ito. Now it's um, a client of mine made me do this mold. You understand? She made me do this mold. It's actually a kind of flat brim. You understand? A kind of flat brim. If you want a brim that um, you don't really want to use the flat end of the tip, let's assume this has uh, actually flat end. Um, you don't want to use you can create something like this so i did this for a client i did this for a client you can also use as a um, you can also use it as a hat meter and at the same time you can use as a brim for a hat you understand whereby you have a little crown you can place on top you understand so that's that for that and up next we still have one other I call this um, hardinator an umbrella hardinator. So, or you call it a sunflower shape hardinator. I like this hardinator. Like, whenever I use this to make hats, oh god, or oh, hardinator, I really fall in love with it. It comes out so beautiful. It's even on my website. The hat I used it to make is on my website. If you want to place an order for it, please do. And we will deliver to your destination and um, that should be after this time <laughs> that um, we have what is flying around us now the virus thing so and also we are on lockdown here so i don't know if you end if you are not on lockdown you can please wait when we they have lifted this um, policy of lockdown thing so we can continue our day-to-day -day activities like normal and ever before all right guys that's that and then um, up next i also okay before we move away from hatinator i think i've also done a tutorial on the use of this particular block yeah it's still available we've really sold a lot of this hat block so this is also for hatinator it's almost like a ton of hatinator so when you wear it it sits like this so that's that for that and i think that is all for hatinator this is something um a bit um lower this one is lower than this you can see this is quite high but it's different from <laughs> it's different from this you can see so these are different shapes of hatinator that you can make so when a client tells you i want to make a hatinator tell them what shape ma? can i see a sample and um do you know that some other so, some form of hatinator can be created without a mold so these are things you should also try as much as possible to explore and see if you can do one of them if you do reach out to your reach out to me i want to say reach out to your girl but all the same you know you know you know so reach out to me share with me what you've actually made of made from what suggestion i've given out here and let's be happy together so okay guys that is that for hatinator now we'll be moving to hats um fascinator blocks yeah 
let's call it fascinator blogs or half hats okay welcome back um yeah i have to raise the camera up so that um i can be able to sample the head block on my head so you see how beautiful it sits for, especially for fascinator modes okay guys this is what i but before we start i did show you this this is actually a hatinator mode i made for a client and um it's not really a perfect circle but you know when you block it you can actually cut a perfect circle from it so this is how it looks inside out so it sits it sits this way you understand so that's that for hatinator so let's just i've really dragged a lot of time i've really dragged us in this uh, hatinator for a very long time so let's just move to fascinator and end this whole thing so guys um, i don't know what to start with because it's a lot here we have a lot here you can see hat blocks here i don't know this is the one we've actually treated these ones are a lot too so um these ones i'm going to just deal with the ones i can actually deal with then when we are done with the major ones, we can just, um, if time is against us, more like um, if this video becomes too long, I think I'll be forced to stop it. Then maybe do a random topic on hard blocks again later in future. But if you feel that um, it should just, we should just continue after this video, if I eventually finish it, we can just put a stop to it. But if you want us to continue after this video, you can always suggest that please would want to know more about these hard blocks. All right, guys, that's that for that. So I'm going to be bringing them out one by one, one after the other, so that um, we can actually dwell on it. I think I'm going to first show it on the table. I don't want to be tweeting this camera up and down because if I have two now, one will just be up while the other one will be down. So, but um, I have just one tripod, so I can't actually maybe use a phone as an option here so basically that is what it is so i'll just have to tweet up so that this can be something that i'll be using my head i'll just be using my head to show you the sample of how it's going to look when you block it so starting from this i've actually made a hatinator on this i keep saying hatinator i've actually made a fascinator on this it actually sits this way let me go back so you can see it sits this way so on my website www.firstsendmillinary.com you will see a fascinator that looks like this this was actually the block i used so um it comes in smaller shape in bigger shape but this shape is okay so that you can actually cut to an appropriate size you want your hatinator or fascinator to be so that's that for that and also we have for alice band i've done something like this on this channel where you have a um a moon shape some people call it a moon shape fascinator i call it alice van fascinator you can see how comfortably it's sitting on my head so when you use it to make a hat um a fascinator you can always wear it comfortably even with hair or without no hair you understand so this is what it looks like when when you use the block so that's that so and this is um a teardrop but with a hike at the back you can see so and the good thing about this you can actually form two shapes from this one is a complete teardrop two is a complete shape of this and three i mean it's even three three is an extended uh, teardrop now a complete teardrop might just you might just end it here you understand you can when you block you just cut out this part then you use it as teardrop the other one is a complete shape of this block is right when you block you pin down here it gives you this shape up then this other um, up here will also form and you give it gives you the exact shape of this block and the third one is um a kind of um a teardrop but with an extended end whereby you just block then you don't make this um, area pronounced by not pinning by not pinning you understand you don't make this area pronounced by not pinning this end so if you just go straight then a little um um a little curve here then goes down it comes out so beautiful so this is a beautiful hard block that i would want you guys to also try out with so you can see how it sits it's beautiful it's nice and it's gorgeous 
So that's that for teardrop. So I'm going to be doing more of teardrop because I have a lot of teardrop shape here. So I think I've also shown this on my channel one time like that. I've shown this on my channel. This is actually people call it an emirate cap. You understand this uh, emirate uh, <laughs> emirate 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 uh, airline. So people just name this uh, an emirate. especially here in Nigeria, we call it emirate hat. Um, hat. So this is a kind of emirate hat. So where you the where this kind of emirate teardrop hat. Before I bite my tongue, and this is another teardrop shape. You can see all this one I've been showing, they're quite different from one another, so from each other rather. So you can see this is different, this is different, this is different. You can see that. So and they are all called teardrops. So when your client tells you, I want a teardrop hat or fascinator. Please be specific about the shape of the teardrop so you don't make mistake or do something else. And always ask for sample. If they don't have, just give them this idea of, okay, why don't you do it this way? Give them a sketch. If they are okay with it, you can move on and uh, go on with the hat making. Alright guys, that's it. And then, um, yeah, we still have more. This is um, a kind of hat shape. Can you see how it is? It's a kind of teardrop too that it has a, a cuff end here. You understand? So see how beautiful it's been made. So by the time they wear it, some people decide to wear it this way. Some people wear it this way. So there are different ways of that actually wearing this hat actually. You can see how beautiful. If you just bring out this end up and uh, you look gorgeous, you know. You might decide to do it this way. So, and you know, one thing about hard blocks is that it won't rest well on your head as an as a hard block than the way it will rest well when you mold it on a hard material. You understand? So, it's going to rest perfectly well on your head, and you're going to love it. I'm telling you. So, this is one of the projects I want to handle very soon, but I don't know if I'm going to be showing it on YouTube or not. But I just hope. Um, I'll be disposed to do that. I something things that really affect my YouTube videos at times is um, I might be so engrossed in making hats and there's nobody to just um, video me while I do it. It's quite difficult to just stand the tripod and um, at the same time be conscious of what you are doing. And uh, you know it's it's a lot difficult. If you've tried it before, you know what I'm trying to say. So when I come up here with videos, um, I would really appreciate if you appreciate it. Oh uh, yeah, thank you. So that's that for this mode. Now I think we've taken something of this nature before. Yeah, I think this is the same. I, okay, this is quite curvy. You can see the tip of this is quite curvy than this. This is a lot straight. This is curvy. So I do a lot of hard blocks. Yeah, I do a lot of hard blocks, most especially um, when I'm really disposed to do. So this is quite different from this. This is a teardrop. This is also a teardrop. This is quite curvy. You understand? I think this is curvy. Um, I think I have one that is more curvy than this. This one that has a curvy tip. So. Show this on the channel where I showed you different hand blocks before. So I've shown this on the channel. This is also a teardrop. Now I want to show you the one I used uh, for a leather hat one time ago. Um, yeah, this this is uh, highly common than this. So sometimes when they request for this, I give this because it also gives. The only difference is that uh, this is quite high up here. This is not too high, but it gives the same shape. It gives the same thing because sometimes these covers can you can see, you can see it's the same. It's just that this has a more high curve here. This has a lower curve here, but they are the same. By the time you wait on the head.
it rests beautifully on the head and the good thing about the flatter one is that um, you can make the embellishment bigger you understand and uh, it subtles in like it complements with the part base but for this one if it's, this is already high and if you make something high like I don't know where well, people with their own designs do was I just feel it's going to be a little bit contrast like it's going to look uh, a bit it's not going to blend in like so so that's that and um, when I'm not the type that does heavy embellishments my designs are really simple and uh, okay by me so that's that for tear drops now we'll be moving to something else. I've really talked for 10 minutes, so let me just cut it at this okay, point. Guys, and welcome then. back. Now we'll be moving to other shapes of fascinators. Like I'll be moving to um normal cap, or would I say normal I can't really uh, relate like normal chief tensic cap but in a smaller shape. I don't know. In Africa you can actually um be conversant with that but um but let me just show you i don't know how to do it so this is more like a cap shape and in our country our vice president present vice president uh, mr Oshibanjo, senior advocate of nigeria this is kind of a um, cap he wears most times so look at this this is a feminine shape of his cap and um by the time you block with this cap god please like seriously just keep rocking it and keep going like so i have this and i also have something related to this but quite different though but almost the same thing so i'm going to be sharing it with you almost the same thing so this is the second one you um i think i'm going to be showing it on the table so you see the difference it's um one is a bit dainty the other one is higher but they they give the same look you can see okay i think on my head it's going to do justice you can see how this is and you can see how this is like i'm going crazy with this hard work okay so you can see how the two are looking on the head so i don't know which one you would want to take or prefer you can see this is the back view of the one i just showed you you can also wear it this way though and um, this is the front view so it almost looks like the Emirate cap, you understand, but it's, um, it's having the back of this shape then having the front of the Emirate cap. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. This hard work is scattering this hair that's already old. Okay, so I have made a video on this um, hard shape. I think I have like two of it. I've made a video on this hard shape where I'm trying to guess the exact. Okay. It's three in one. You understand? When you move this out, you can make a hat of this. I've made a hat of this nature where you wear it this way. You understand? Then you can make a smaller one. Just make sure that the embellishment is quite big so that it can complement. You understand? So I I have similar shape here too. Like two of them is here. I have two of those hat blocks here. And then um, going on to the Alice Band hat um, fascinator, I have the hat, uh, the half one. I think I've shown you guys on this channel before with this hat, half shape hat uh, fascinator, half Alice Band, or this is actually the one we call the moon shape because it's halfway. You understand? It's halfway. So I'm also, I have made a fascinator on this too. It's halfway. You can see how it is. So this is quite full. So, but it's not as long. This is not as long. <laughs> you can also make this this way. Though. See how this one sits. Busy. Okay, this is the way they created this. This is how this sits. Okay, so this is also an Alice one shape, but it's halfway. These two halfways are quite different. One is with pointed end, the other one is with curved ends. You can see this one is pointed, this one is curved. So 
this is a lot of work. I never knew this video was going to be this long. I didn't know it was going to take this whole time. But please be patient because we are really learning a lot. Okay, so moving on to... Okay, I've shown you guys this. Okay, I have more of this hard block here. I have more of this. I sell hard blocks though. I sell hard blocks. We make hard blocks. That's why I have a lot of things here. So moving on to Emirate Cups. We still have the round shape of it where you just have a little um, base where which also has a kind of a little crown inside and um, it comes out beautiful when you block like this a block with this i have something relating to this but in different shape relating to this but in different shape okay here it is you can see it's quite similar but this is quite different from this so you can see how this sits can see how this sits so um i think i'm going to be stopping here but i'll take the last one which is a um, salsa or you call it a, a turn up uh hat tomato. people call it salsa when you turn it upside down but it's turn up when you turn it the other way hope you understand me when the mold looks upside down when you block it block them with the mold when you block with the mold and when you're done you move it up it becomes a turn up but the mode is actually called a salsa. I don't know if I'm making sense. But all the same, this is how it looks. Let's take for instance, this is upside down. You have a long a crown like this. Um, it's going to look this way. You have something like this. But at this point, at this circle, there will be a kind of dent here. So that way they call it salsa. But after blocking it, because when you block it, you also have a small cone here where you use to press the um, dents inside. So to make that create that effect on the hard block. So that when you block, when you're done blocking, you can turn the mode, the unblocked mode, like when you remove the blocked hat, you can turn it upside down and it becomes a turn up hat made. I just hope I'm really passing the message here. I'm really communicating here because if I had the block here, it would have been a lot easier to explain. So basically, um, this is a turn of hatinator. This is quite uh, with a low um, size brim, with a short size brim. And uh, we have the long one with a, a longer size brim. I also have the bigger one, but I think um, um, I had material is on it, so I won't be showing it. I've done that. I've treated that... Um, topic here on this channel so please do well to check our previous um, videos to get abreast with all this so this is a turn up patinator i've also done um, something of this nature in this channel this is a turn up patinator i have something slightly different from the one i just showed you now so you can see the difference you can see the difference can you see okay so that is that for that and yes i talked about um, a seashell or a snail shell block yes so this is a snail shell block this is also beautiful when you block and wait it looks it comes out neat and beautiful i've done it for a client before and then um, i wasn't opportune tuned, <laughs> opportune to snap it take a snap of it before I sent it to the customer, but you can always create something of this. It comes out very beautiful and it does not really carry much designs or embellishment. That's the truth about this particular fascinator. This particular fascinator. So, guys, it has been exhausting like doing this video. I hope you guys enjoy this whole video and the little, little, um, Crown, the little little head base or fascinator base that I have here I can just give you a quick show of each one now this is one I've used this quite well in this channel this is another this is quite big and it's it has a curvy end you understand should in case you want that effect a hard base gives where it gives you that curvy nature nature you understand not like a flat and you see those curvy nature 
it has it you can see how public looking so i think i have more pronounced one okay here this is quite pronounced this is also the same with the one i just showed now so that's that and then for something more you can see this is quite curvy i've made a fascinator with this too i keep saying fascinator i've made a fascinator with this too and i'll also be sharing the picture soon but i'm still working on it this lockdown thing is not making things so we have other simple hat base you can see this you can see this a lot of different shapes you understand so I've done something on this particular hat base so and this one you can also use for hats you understand it serves as a crown for a flat brim for a flat brim it serves as a crown for a flat brim so this is a very long tutorial session that had to give us three parts I hope you guys are enjoying this video so I'll put out this will um i'll have to bring it to an end at this point so that um, we don't make it too long all right guys thank you guys for viewing us thank you for your patience thank you for subscribing thank you for your likes and dislikes <laughs> thank you for every single thing may god bless you see you in our next tutorial and please hope to see you there